Dear students, I shall continue the problems on Bernoulli's differential equation. The problem which I was uh, not able to complete in the previous discussion, I will take up the same problem and then I will complete. Afterwards, the uh, remaining problems we shall discuss. That problem is like this. Solve x into dy by dx plus y equal to x cube and y to the power 6. As I mentioned, this problem is uh, nonlinear because the term as y to the power 6 is there. <coughs> here y is there and here y to the power 6 is there. Therefore, it is more than first degree, it is called as nonlinear. First step we have to take dividing by x that should be dy by dx <coughs> y by x that is equal to x divided by x cube divided by x means it is x square and y to the power 6 as it is. This is at one stage okay that is dividing by x dividing by x here I am removing x that comes to be y by x and x cube divided by x gives us x square and y to the power 6. Now, this y to the power 6 you have to divide. So, that is the next chance I am taking y to the power 6 that should be y to the power minus 6 should be dy by <coughs> dx plus of 1 by x y divided by y to the power 6 z equal to <coughs> x square ok. We have to release this product from the dependent variable that is y to the power 6 to make that nonlinear as linear form. Then this is y to the power minus 6 dy by dx right and plus of that is 1 by x and it is y to the power minus 5 because y divided by y to the power 6 as y to the power 5 that I am writing to the numerator and it is x to the power 2. So, this is the differential equation where it is ready for taking some substitution so that nonlinear form we can convert to the linear form. Here simple substitution I will be choosing put y to the power minus 5 equal to t then uh, this gives on differentiation that is minus 5 into y to the power minus 5 and minus 1. That should be minus 5 minus 1 is minus 6 and y differentiation is dy and that is equal to dt. So, this I will replace uh, y to the power minus 6 into dy together this product I will be replacing in terms of dt. What is that minus of uh, minus 5 will be taken to the denominator. Therefore, from this equation after writing this quantity y to the power minus 6 dy to be replaced with the dt divided by it is minus 5. Therefore, dt divided by dx into 1 divided by it is minus 5 right and plus of 1 by x into t is equal to x square. This is the stage we, re we reached by two steps uh, with the proper divisions. First division we have taken as x and second division we have taken as y to the power 6. Therefore, 1 by minus 5 is there then you remove this minus 5 multiply throughout by minus 5 ok. Then dt by dx I am removing here by multiplying by minus 5 right. So, minus uh, 5 divided by x with uh, along with p of x I will notice then this is t and minus 5 it is x square ok because multiplying throughout by minus 5. Now, this is uh, x form this is also x form in place of dependent variable this is actually uh, dependent variable the newly taken substitution in place of y we have written as t. So, in terms of t we have to carry out as dependent variable ok. So, what is uh, uh, after the conversion uh, 
this form takes this is a linear differential equation but earlier this was a non-linear differential equation because here itself we can notice this is nothing but dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x into y to the power n is there exactly it is of that type but this is in the mixed form right this cannot be accepted as it is but this is rearranged form where y is multiplied and uh, with first degree but where on the right side y is uh, taken with uh, uh, nth degree of course uh, it is a general form but here it is y with respect to 6 that means y takes the degree as 6 therefore it is a non-linear differential equation fine oh, finally we arrived after doing all these rearrangements by taking y to the power minus 5 is equal to t and we solved the problem that is dt by dx plus minus of 5 by x into t is equal to this much this is a linear differential equation simply you can call this one as uh, in terms of p1 right dt by dx plus p1 x otherwise p of x even no problem p of x into uh, t right is equal to q of x what is p of x and q of x p of x is equal to minus 5 by x right and q of x is is equal to is equal to minus 5 into it is x square so this is the uh, first uh, uh, setting of the problem from the given uh, a problem format uh, which is not ready according to the calculation uh, whatever uh, in, uh, integrating factor is required so it is not in the ready form so now we have to calculate the integrating factor and then we have to solve but this is a linear differential equation you can easily say that which is the linear ODE which is the linear differential equation integrating factor IF is equal to e to the power integral it is P of x dx that is equal to e to the power integral that is p of x means minus 5 by x right it is dx e to the power integral minus 5 by x it is dx e to the power that is minus 5 it is log x that is equal to e to the power log of x to the power of minus 5 that is equal to x to the power minus 5 then i of is equal to x to the power minus 5 this is your integrating factor now we will make use of this integrating factor as uh, solution uh, procedure for linear differential equation what is the solution procedure there you have to write for the linear differential equation solution using integrating factor that means i f is given by what is that uh, i f means dependent variable is to be multiplied here our dependent variable is t t into i f is equal to integral it is q of x into i f that is dx and plus constant you analyze all these steps here this is your given problem we have converted to the standard form and we, uh, this is non-linear and we have uh, divided that is y to the power 6 and we made it as linear differential equation and from that linear differential equation we have calculated the integrating factor using p of x that is com uh, coming to be x to the power minus 5 and now when once it becomes linear differential equation then we need to write the solution that is t into x to the power minus 5 x to the power minus 5 is equal to integration it is q of x that is minus 5 into x square uh, and integrating factor that is x to the power minus 5 and then it is dx and plus constant okay 
that is t into x to the power minus phi is equal to minus phi integration what it should be base is same powers can be added x to the power minus 3 remains and dx plus constant that is equal to minus phi then x to the power minus 3 integration is x to the power minus 2 divided by minus 2 and plus of constant t into x to the power minus phi. What is t value actually you have taken the substitution t is equal to y to the power minus phi right. So uh, x to the power this is minus phi right into y to the power minus phi here and uh, it is equal to minus minus plus it is phi by 2 and x to the power minus 2 and plus constant and the final form of the uh, differential uh, sorry solution of the differential equation comes to be 1 divided by x to the power of phi y to the power of phi is equal to phi by 2 x square and plus constant this is the final form of the nonlinear differential equation this is Bernoulli's uh, 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 standard uh, differential equation where most of the times you can uh, think of how the dependent variable appears with uh, uh, degree more than 1. Uh, so only it is called as nonlinear differential equation. In the similar fashion I will take one more problem. Uh, the next situation will include the trigonometric function. How those trigonometric function presence also will show the nonlinearity in the Bernoulli's differential equation. So the problem is like this. Solve dy by dx plus y is equal to y square into cos x minus of sin x. This is also something uh, special uh, type of problem because it includes both uh, trigonometric uh, uh, functions as well as polynomial term that is polynomial term as x and y okay but it is y and y square okay then uh, how it looks uh, in this fashion that is dy by dx plus y is equal to y square into cos x minus sin x that means y into dy product type is not appeared okay in this equation y into dy product type it is not appeared then when that is the case directly we can go for uh, division whichever the term we do not require on the right side you divide that and then shift that term to the other side okay then here we do not want this y square because your standard form is dy by dx plus p of x into y z equal to q of x into y to the power n here y to the power n means y square and cos x minus sin x is for qx right uh, that is y to the power n is equal to that means n equal to 2 you can compare in this case n is equal to 2. So n equal to 2 means so uh, it is a nonlinear term right that nonlinear term because of the nonlinear term you have to reduce to the linear form okay. First of all uh, divide by this term which is not required on the RHS divide by y square this gives what is that y to the power minus 2 here and dy by it is dx plus y divided by y square and y to the power minus 1 is equal to cos x minus of it is sin x okay y to the power minus 2 dy by dx plus y to the power minus 1 equal to cos x minus sin x. We made an attempt uh, to remove this y square which shows us nonlinearity and that was divided and removed and we brought that y to the power 2 to the numerator as y to the power minus 2 and because of this y we have here that is y to the power minus 1. Then this substitution will be chosen uh, for uh, another uh, differentiation put y to the power minus 1 equal to t this gives 
uh, what uh, differentiation minus 1 into y to the power minus 2 it is dy because this term should be present here then it is dt. Then what is y square uh, y, uh, sorry y to the power minus 2 into dy that is equal to minus of dt. Here that is minus of dt uh, to be replaced in place of y to the power minus 2 and then dy. This gives minus dt divided by dx plus t is equal to cos x minus of it is sin x. Okay. You remove this minus sign and that should be cos x dt by dx plus uh, minus of t actually plus of minus 1 into t is equal to sin x minus of it is cos x. Correct? Huh? That means in the reverse order I have written to remove this minus sign. Verify once again. So, this happens to be exactly linear differential equation dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x. Verify all the terms. dy by dx derivative plus p of x it is minus 1 and q of x there is no term of y. It is only in the form of function of x alone. We in whichever the format it is either cos x or sin x or in any form but it should not contain the dependent variable that is y. Okay. Therefore, uh, this is uh, linear differential equation at this stage but this was non-linear. Now, you can write which is linear ODE which is linear ODE then we have then we have integrating factor. What is that integrating factor? e to the power integral that is uh, e to the power integral minus 1 you can write into it is dx that comes to be e to the power minus of x only. Verify that e to the power integral this minus 1 with respect to x is e to the power minus x. This is your integrating factor. After finding the integrating factor, we solve the differential equation by using the step that is dependent variable into integrating factor is equal to right side the function of x alone whatever it is there to be multiplied with this exponential and then we need to write the answer. Therefore, required solution required solution uh, is given by required solution for what is given for linear differential equation is given by what is that t into i f equal to integral it is q of x into it is i f that is d x and plus constant then t into i f is nothing but here t is the dependent variable and i of is the calculated value it is exponential to the power minus 1 and q of x is nothing but this trigonometric function right. The both these terms must be multiplied by e to the power minus of x ok. So, t into i of will become that means t into i of means t into e to the power minus x that is equal to integration that is q of x is sin x minus it is cos x into e to the power minus x that is dx and plus constant. Now, you have to evaluate what is the integration of this product of exponential and trigonometric function. Okay. I will write it separately. that is t into e to the power minus x ok. It is equal to integration there are two terms which you have to deal with uh, e to the power minus x into sin x and dx and minus integration 
e to the power minus x into cos x right into cos x dx and plus constant ok. So, you have two formulas of uh, integration where it is the product of exponential and trigonometric function. I will just mention those formulas. We know that we know that uh, integration e to the power a x it is sin m x sin m x dx e to the power a x sin m x dx is equal to e to the power a x into a sin m x minus m cos m x and whole divided by a square plus m square. This is for the product that is exponential is multiplied to sin trigonometric function and another one exponential is multiplied to cos trigonometric function that is e to the power a x it is cos m x dx should be e to the power a x and here a cos comes first a cos m x minus uh, sorry plus it is in the case of cos it should be plus m sin m x divided by a square plus it is m square right that is e to the power a x cos m x dx that is equal to e to the power a x into a cos m x plus m sin m x right. So, these are the two trigonometric formulas which uh, uh, you have studied in the basics of integration and accordingly our existing problem is taking e to the power minus x into sin x and e to the power minus x into cos x. So, we will write the results accordingly. Therefore, therefore t into e to the power minus x is equal to the first term it is a product of sin and exponential. So, this is going to be matching right. So, you will write like that what are the values of a and b here a equal to minus 1 ok and m is equal to plus 1 here a is equal to minus 1 and m is equal to plus 1 in both the cases it is same. So, according to these two formulas substitute those uh, constant uh, values that is a equal to minus 1 and m is equal to 1 so that what uh, the final uh, value of the integration you, you need to write that is t into e to the power minus x this is ok that is, that is equal to. So, for the first product means exponential multiplied to sin you are getting this much e to the power minus x into right that is a sin m x a means minus 1 sin x minus m cos m x 1 into cos x over over a square plus m square what is that minus 1 whole square and then plus 1 square. This is for first integration here and for the second integration with minus sign is there you put minus sign and same type e to the power minus x and then a cos m x here also a is minus 1 cos of x plus of 1 sin because m sin m x is there 1 sin x right and whole divided by minus 1 it is whole square and plus 1 square and plus constant correct or verify. So, this is the result of that integration where uh, exponential term and trigonometric functions are multiplied. This is most important because these formulas uh, will come in the uh, successive uh, steps of integration. The first is partial fraction, next is substitution, next is uh, integration by parts, next is reduction formula and the reduction formula extended part is this one that is reduction formula we studied in the uh, module number uh, <coughs> previous module that is module number 3 reduction formula immediately after that this exponential terms will come 
then exponential terms will appear as the trigonometric functions individually we studied like uh, integral of sin to the power n x, integral of cos to the power n x and integral of product of sin and cos. After that these two products uh, we take the help wherever we come across. Here coincidentally our uh, integrating factor is e to the power minus x that constitutes the product of e to the power minus x with sin as well as e to the power uh, minus x with cos function right. Thereby these two standard formulas will give us the answer like this. Then what is the next part of the simplification t what is the value of t you have selected that is y to the power minus 1. So <coughs> y to the power minus 1 and uh, x to the uh, e to the power minus x is the integrating integrating factor and then this is e to the power minus x right e to the power minus x I think from both you can take common e to the power minus x and this is 1 this is 1 okay that is 2 that also you can take common what is this now remains this is minus sin x right and this is minus cos x what is this remains uh, according to this step minus sin is there according to the equation minus is also there this minus this minus makes us plus sign it is cos x and this minus and this plus makes us minus it is sin x correct huh? then plus constant what is further simplification you can expect 1 divided by 1 divided by y into e to the power x if I bring uh, e to the power minus x to the denominator that is e to the power minus x we are getting it as e to the power plus x okay where it is here e to the power minus x then it is brought to the numerator e to the power minus x as e to the power plus x okay. So this is equal to e to the power minus x divided by 2 and uh, any term you can cancel inside I hope so this is cos x and minus cos x you can cancel then there are two sin functions with uh, minus sign it is minus of 2 times it should be sin x and then multiplied uh, with that exponential outside and plus constant. So this is what your expected answer and final format of the answer after taking the substitution that is t is equal to uh, y to the power minus 1. So this is most important part uh, on the application of integration because two formulas we are going to apply as exponential is multiplied to sine function and exponential is multiplied to uh, cos function. So during the simplification maybe uh, one term is going to be cancelled you must be careful when you are doing the simplification you just you just do not leave the answer as it is okay. Now I will move on to the next uh, problem because more number of problems you have to solve on uh, Bernoulli's differential equation. So there is one more uh, case of that type I shall take this example is also with the uh, same type trigonometric functions uh, a little complicated uh, uh, type I am going to take up that problem how that behaves with the uh, standard form of uh, that is a uh, Bernoulli's differential equation. One more uh, example of little complication I will take then we shall solve uh, the uh, uh, calculation of uh, integrating factor how this integrating factor in this problem works with uh, in a different way with uh, um, uh, use of some trigonometric formulas what is the trigonometric formulas I will show that solve dy by dx plus of x into sin 2y equal to x cube into it is cos square y is there. Try to concentrate on this problem also you read the problem carefully because you have to copy the problem from the paper properly with uh, degrees otherwise <coughs> trigonometric formulas will not help us to simplify dy by dx plus x into sin 2y equal to x cube into cos x cube into cos square y right. So that is that is correct. Now the first observation what you are supposed to make is 
the product y into dy is appeared or not, especially in the Bernoulli's nonlinear differential equation. If that is appeared, then immediately you have to change it. But here also, to this dy y term is not multiplied. Therefore, this must be of the standard form dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x into y to the power n. Immediately we will compare with the standard form. That standard form is dy by dx plus p of x with y degree 1 and here y degree n. Therefore, because of the presence of this term, it is non-linear term. What is that? Cos square y. Instead of y to the power n, as you have seen in the earlier problems, it was uh, with uh, y to the power something. But here in the form of trigonometric function, trigonometric function means cos square y. So, it is cos square y means cos is not with the first degree, it is with second degree. That is also leading to the uh, criteria of nonlinearity. Then that is a Bernoulli's differential equation. Therefore, first you have to remove this cos square uh, y. So, divide by it is cos square y because you have to compare with uh, leaving the term that is qx on the right side. First, I will do this job 1 divided by it is cos square y and uh, dy by dx plus of this is sin 2y and divided by sin 2y x into sin 2y and cos square y because you are dividing that term and then x cube. Understand each step carefully uh, because trigonometric function is going to help us, trigonometric formula is going to help us to cancel the term, otherwise it won't be cancelled. Now, this is 1 by cos square, right? And here it is a combination of sin 2y divided by cos square y. Here cos square y is removed. Okay. What is 1 by cos square y? It should be secant square y according to your trigonometric formula. That is dy by dx plus of x into sin 2y. Okay. So, now what you have to do is sin 2a formula you have to apply 2 times sin y into cos of y divided by as it is. It is cos square y that is equal to x cube. How many formulas we have used here? That is sin 2a sin 2a is equal to 2 sin a into cos a sin 2a is equal to 2 sin a into cos a. This is one trigonometric formula we have used and another one is 1 by cos x is equal to secant x. It is equal to secant x but as a result it is secant square because square is there and in place of x y is there no problem that is secant square y is there. So, can I cancel one cos x here? here? Yes that is sin y because sin 2a formula you have taken 2 times sin a into cos a divided by cos square so that one cos term I can cancel. Then secant square y right it is dy by dx plus 2 times x into 2 times uh, x into what, what the term remains sin y divided by it is cos y is equal to x cube. In the next step, you can write like this secant square y should be dy by dx plus of 2x, then it is tan y, right, is equal to it is x cube. <clears throat> On the right side, it is only x cube, it is free from the term that is y. But left side second term, left side second term, this is 2x that is tan y. Therefore, 2x into tan y, uh, you are going to take the substitution. So, what is that uh, tan y? It will be uh, when you take that tan y, you take some another symbol. Differentiation gives us secant square y into dy. We will do that. Now, put tan y is equal to t. This implies on differentiation that is secant square y into dy equal to dt. So, this gives 
secant square y into dy that is equal to dt. So, dt by dx plus of it is 2x right as it is and then it is t that is equal to x cube verify still. Because of the uh, term which is going to support us to take uh, the product together that is secant square y into dy after differentiation is over uh, when we take uh, substitution tan y is equal to t then secant square y dy is equal to dt. Therefore, this product together we replaced with the value as dt then that is equal to x cube on the right side. Now, it is very very clear it is a linear differential equation in terms of t linear in t therefore, right side it is free from the dependent variable. So, how we can write now that is dt divided by dx plus of it is p of x into t is equal to q of x. What is p of x here? p of x is equal to 2x and q of x is equal to what? q of x is equal to it is x cube right. Uh, <coughs> this is the linear differential equation. How do you how do you uh, uh, recognize this as a linear differential equation? Because dependent variable in place of y here we have t that is our first derivative plus of p of x into dependent variable is equal to function of x alone right side it is function of x alone thereby dt by dx plus 2 of uh, 2x into t that is equal to x cube that is right ok. <coughs> then <coughs> then uh, dt by dx plus 2x into t that is equal to x cube. Now, the integrating factor <coughs> integrating factor is equal to <coughs> e to the power <coughs> sorry it is p of x into dx what is that integrating factor e to the power integration it is 2x dx that is e to the power 2x integration is that is x square by 2 then x square a uh, 2 cancels leaving the term as x square e to the power x square is your integrating factor then the solution solution for linear <coughs> ODE is given by <coughs> linear ODE is given by that is T into IF is equal to right side should be Q of X into IF that is DX plus constant. What is the term? <coughs> that is t into if, if you are going to substitute as e to the power x square that is right equal to integration should be uh, that is x cube right it is as it is and e to the power x square and then it is dx plus of constant. It is similar to one of the uh, previous set of problems we studied. Uh, the power once again you have to take the substitution in a different way uh, because directly you cannot integrate that uh, product of exponential and polynomial term ok. Then this I will split according to uh, the power 3 as 2 and 1 right that is e to the power x cube is there that is e to the uh, sorry x square into x and e to the power x square that is dx and plus constant. What is that next? You are going to take some another substitution here x square is equal to something like another symbol as z <coughs> 2x dx is equal to it is dz that is x into dx is equal to dz divided by it is dz divided by 2 
where x into dx is available you so that you can replace this quantity by means of dz by 2 whereas x square alone you can replace as z therefore t into e to the power x square right that is as it is and on the uh, right side integration that should be written as x square should be z and x into dx that is dz divided by 2 and e to the power z and uh, uh, dz divided by 2 plus of constant. Now, it is our job to integrate uh, this particular step. using uh, integration by parts. What is that integration by parts uh, formula? That is integration of u into v, you have to write. Uh, it should be in the general form, otherwise you can use wordings first into integral of second minus integral of differential of first into integral of second. This formula also you can use. Okay. So, this is first okay, and this is second, right. That should be t into e to the power x square is equal to first function that is z e to the power z e to the power z minus differentiation e to the power z twice leaves the same answer and multiply 2 dz divided by 2 integration is completed that is 1 by 2 plus constant. This is equal to 1 by 2 if I put it outside then it must be uh, z minus 1 and e to the power z if I keep outside and t into e to the power x square and plus constant. What is z value you had taken x square okay? and t is equal to whatever that uh, substitution you had chosen where uh, z is taken as uh, x square z equal to x square. Therefore, t into e to the power x square is equal to 1 by 2 should be x square uh, here in place of z and minus 1 x square z x square equal to z that is right and e to the power x square and must be multi, uh, plus of constant. So, this is your answer. Still you have to substitute the value of t. What is the t? t was selected for <coughs> uh, representing the integrating factor because you have calculated the integrating factor according to that you can put it that is all. Whatever the value you had chosen with the value of t and uh, you can write the final answer in terms of that is x and y. The next problem another one also I will be uh, taking this problem is a uh, uh, little complicated again solve. 2x into y dash equal to 10 x cube y to the power of 5 y to the power of 5 and plus y is there. This is your another uh, important problem 2x into y dash equal to 10 x cube y to the power of 5 and plus y is there y to the power 1 is there ok right in the solution. Uh, this is not given in uh, the symbol like uh, dy by dx form. This is y dash is given, right? Let us accept like that only. Let the differential equation, it is 2x into dy by dx, 10 into x cube, y to the power of y and plus y is there, okay? Now, uh, first of all, uh, we will write according to uh, the standard form. Uh, before that, we will remove this 2x first. Throughout, we will divide uh, that uh, 2x, make this derivative is uh, free from that term, we will verify. Okay. Now, divide by 2x, that is dy by dx is equal to, that should be 10 x cube y to the power of 5 divided by 2x plus y divided by 2x. Let me take this term to the left side that is dy by dx uh, minus 
1 divided by 2x because y into dy, y into dy product is not appeared then without any hesitation you can uh, go for that is writing dy by dx as uh, the format the first derivative that is dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x into y to the power n in this format you can write. So, dy by dx minus of 1 by 2x okay. uh, this I am taking to the left side as this term right minus 1 by 2x into y is equal to 10, uh, 10 means 5 because 2 cancels here 5 times and 1x cancels right uh, 5 into x square into y to the power of 5. This is at one stage after the simplification of the given differential equation. What, what is that simplification? We will write this simplification according to dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x into y to the power n in that format we have written. Now after converting this but still you have to arrange by the removal of this uh, nonlinear term. What is the nonlinear term? That nonlinear term is y to the power of 5. Again you divide that uh, a term to remove from this place that is y to the power of 5 dividing by y to the power of 5. What is that? y to the power minus 5 here it comes and then dy dx plus of minus 1 divided by 2x right uh, multiplied by it is y to the power y divided by y to the power of 5 means y to the power minus 4 you can write and 5 x square after cancelling y to the power 5 okay what is y to the power of 5 uh, term happens on the right side because we have taken the division throughout by y to the power of 5 so only that y to the power of 5 uh, will not remain on RHS because the entire division we have taken then y to the power of 5 minus minus 5 that remains here but y to the power of minus 4 is there we have to make the connectivity between these two by taking some substitution. What is that substitution? Put y to the power of 4 uh, with minus sign is equal to p. Then this should be minus 4 y to the power of minus 5 it is dt that is equal to I am sorry this is dy it is equal to dt. Okay. y to the power minus 5 into dy is available here so that you can replace y to the power minus 5 into dy is equal to dt divided by it is minus 4 then then it should be uh, dt divided by minus 4 and dx that is minus plus of minus 1 divided by it is 2x minus 1 divided by 2x and y to the power of minus 4 that is equal to t that should be multiplied by t is equal to that is 5 times x square. 5 times x square. Now you remove this minus 4. Correct? Huh? This is y to the power minus 5 dy is equal to dt by minus 4. That term remains here. Now we must expect free from this constant dt divided by dx and plus of it is 4 your throat you are multiplying that becomes 2 divided by x minus minus will go and 4 will come to numerator and 4 divided by 2 will give the answer as after the division is over then it gives us 2 that is multiplied by t that should be 5 times it is x square. So now you can check this as the standard form of the uh, linear differential equation exactly it matches dy by dx otherwise dt by dx okay plus of p of x into that should be t is equal to it is q of x. Can you find uh, the quantity exactly of the same type that is okay now it should be of the form dt by dx plus p of x into t that is equal to q of x. 
that means right side term which was an extra term which was an extra term here y to the power minus phi which was said to be nonlinear term then that is made as linear term here and then we removed that therefore this is free from that nonlinear term ok. So I will I shall discuss I would like to stop up to here I shall discuss in the next lecture the continuation of this particular step ok that is dt by dx plus 2 by x anyway you can take uh, the integrating factor here uh, in e to the power integral that is 2 by x into dx that is equal to uh, log x that should be x square 2 log x means x square then t into that is x square is equal to e to the power uh, integration it is 5 into x square into x to the power 2 it is dx plus constant the answer is that should be x to the power of 4 uh, means 5, 5 cancels x to the power of 5 plus constant that is t into that is x square right. So this is the final answer of the problem. So like this you can study extra problems on Bernoulli's differential uh, equation so that uh, the concept you will become more perfect. Thank you.